Hey there folks, Tornado Twins here and I would like to show you some new features inside of Unity 3D. Now um, this is the 3.0 version and at the time of the recording this one is still in beta so it's not been released yet uh, but Unity Technologies was so kind to share the beta with us so we could show you some features of what's to come. Uh, the fire you see right here is a fire effect that is coming to unityprefabs.com pretty soon and I'm just going to use this simple scene to uh, illustrate some some things. Now I have selected a point light and as you can see there's some new features with the point light. Uh, usually you had to set the radius or the range by typing it in but now you can just grab these handles and change the uh, radius of the light by dragging the handles. But that's not what I wanted to show you today. What I want to show you is some of the audio features. And I'm a little bit of an audio nerd myself, if I may say so. Uh, we have some music in iTunes and whatnot. Uh, so I really uh, like the audio features inside of Unity 3D 3.0. So uh, let's dive into them. When we go to uh, Component and then Audio, you can see that there is quite a bunch of new filters and stuff that we uh, have now. Uh, we have audio source and listener, those are still the same, but now there's also a reverb zone, low pass, high pass filters, and echo and whatnot distortion. Now everybody knows what distortion is, if you play guitar you'll know what this is. Without distortion it sounds normal, with distortion it sounds distorted. That's not very difficult. Reverb is also pretty simple, it sort of adds an echo-ish effect, uh, sort of a soft echo to uh, uh, to the sound so it stretches it out kind of it smears it with an echo uh, it's not the same as a delay a delay basically uh, uh, repeats the sound but let me uh, in more detail talk about the low pass and the high pass filter here now I have my favorite audio editing program open this is uh, Ableton Live and you don't need this to run Unity I'm just using it to show you some of the uh, features when I play the clip in here, there's a little bit of a drum sample. Uh, it sounds like this. Alright, that's easy. It just goes from left to right and you see some waveforms. Now, as soon as I start adding filters to it, there is a low pass or a uh, high pass filter. You can see that this is the filter that I've added to the sound now. Now, on the left of this spectrum is all the bassy sound, so everything that is uh, going into your subwoofer. And on the right is all the high sound, so that would be the little speakers in your car or something like that. Everything that has high sound. And in the middle, of course, is the mid-tones, which uh, usually in pop music you hear a lot. Now, notice that when I play this sample, I start cutting off the high sounds, and I'm going to go all the way back here and only let you hear the low sounds. Alright, so I'm going to cut the high tones off. Now as you can hear it feels right now as if you're standing outside of a club. You only hear the bass coming out of the room and all the high tones are cut off. You can see that this is basically what it's letting pass. Now, that's exactly what a low pass filter does. It, it lets the low sounds pass and it cuts off the highs. All right, so it used to also be called a cutoff filter, but then you would specify what's cut off. But with a pass, it's a low pass filter, it's actually the same thing, but then you describe what's passing. Now, if I do the same thing, but then for high sounds, it sounds like this. Now if you've heard any electronic music before then you know that uh, this is an effect that DJs use to wake up the crowd a little bit at the end of a uh, rise of a song. Alright, so, uh, but what I want to focus the attention on here is this little slider. It says the Hertz, in this case it says 26 Hertz and it goes all the way to uh, uh, kilohertz, so that's times a thousand and so forth. Now this is what is, has been added in Unity 3D also. So if I take my uh, point light here, and I have the same sample as what I just played for you, and I add this sound to the point light, as you can see it now is added as an audio source. So it is in 3D space right now. If I uh, play 
in my scene editor the sound which is new in 3.0 you can hear the sound when I get closer it gets louder hold on let me make sure it loops and not just plays once if I zoom out you can see it gets softer okay this is just volume this is not your filter alright so now let me add uh, some audio filtering here a low pass filter and as you can see the cutoff frequency is set to 5000 or 5 kilohertz now if I go back to uh, Ableton Live here you can see 5 would be 5 kilohertz would be around here in the high tones but since it's a low pass filter it's only cutting off some pretty high frequencies now see what starts happening with the sound when I tweak this to say for example 1000 okay so now we're in the 1000 Hertz range so 1 kilohertz and you can see it feels the same way as what I just played you it feels like you're standing outside of a club now you may be asking why are you showing me all this what's so interesting about it now the cool part is is that you can tweak that over time or you can tweak that based on distance in 3d so that you really get sort of an underwater feel or when doors close that certain frequencies are cut off from sounds that you cannot hear anymore so it's really making your game a professional game and it sounds really really phenomenal so that's low pass filters and high pass filters and I will hope to show you more about the new features in Unity 3.0 uh, soon. There's also some videos on the official Unity3D.com uh, blog. You can watch there also. Alright, that's all for now. I'll see you later. Bye.